Good morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw this adorable little Boston Terrier. Thank you Becky Wilson for the suggestion. What you need to join in is a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, and an eraser. Or you could use the back of a pencil eraser. That's fine too. I'm going to move my guide and we will get started. Um, <clears throat> you are going to start with your pencil. I'm going to use my marker so that you can see me better. Uh, okay, our little guy is sitting, it's going to take up about this much room on our paper. I'm going to push start here. There we go. I'd like to try to do a time-lapse video and I forgot to start it, so there we go. Um, okay, so our guy's going to take up about this much room on our paper. It's going to be built mostly of squares, so we're going to draw some squares today. <clears throat> His little head is tilted, you know how dogs look curious. So we're going to start with a square that's angled, about like this. I'm moving my whole arm from my shoulder and I'm gonna draw an angular square. Now we are roughing this in and we are uh, moving our whole arm from our shoulder up and down and back and forth and we're going over and over our lines to arrive at our shape. Uh, that helps us get the best shape that we can. Um, if you just draw one line, um, maybe it's a little off or funky and not quite what you want, but if you draw a few, they build up to be a really nice shape. So be forgiving with yourself and in the long run we will erase all of these lines and they'll just serve as guides. So don't worry about it too much. On the top of our square we are going to add in some rectangles for ears. We're going to have one living here and one living here. So off to the side here let's add in a rectangle. The Boston Terrier has some really cute uh, tall ears. They stand up really cute on the top of their little heads. So I'm going to rough in a rectangle right about there. To get that shape, I'm planting my wrist and I'm moving my hand back and forth. So it's a little bit finer uh, motor movement there. On the top of that, we're going to add in a triangle and a tiny little circle. So plant your wrist, and from the top of that rectangle, let's build in a triangle that looks about like that. And at the very tippy tip of that, add in a little tiny circle. Very good. Let's add in a little connecting triangle there, and a little connecting triangle there. If your rectangle was scooted further down into your face rectangle, you don't need those but mine got a little off to the side so I'm going to add those in and make it easier for myself later on. Let's draw on the inside of that ear. We're going to add in an oval in another triangle. The oval is going to overlap the rectangle and the triangle that we just drew about that much and then inside the triangle just add another little echoing triangle there. Um, that will give us that pink part of their cute little ears. Over to the other side, let's do the same thing. We will start with our rectangle. I'm going to angle mine this way this time. I'm planting my wrist and I'm moving. Actually, on this one, I planted my wrist for these lines, but for these lines, because they're a little bit bigger, I planted my elbow and I'm moving my forearm back and forth and back and forth. You can try that. Um, when you use your bigger motor movements, it's easier to uh, get those shapes going. All right, up on top of that, let's add in our triangle. I'm going to angle it this way this time. Very good. And let's add in our oval and our little triangle on top of that. Now, because of the angle I've chosen for our little Boston Terrier, his ear has some cute little shapes down here. So to get those shapes, we're going to add in two ovals, one that lives right at the base of that rectangle and one that lives just above it. Just like that. And I'm going to connect that with a little connecting triangle. So we did a rectangle with a triangle 
And then inside that we did an oval and a triangle. And then we added in two little ovals, one there and then angle just slightly different, one there. And if you've got any gaps between your rectangle and that triangle, or sorry, yeah, between your rectangle and your oval, add in a little connecting triangle. I'll use those a lot of times just to help me uh, know where I want my lines to go. I'm gonna do the same thing up here, just add in a little connecting triangle to the top of the head. Okay, for our face, we are gonna do a series of three circles here and three circles here for our little guy's eyes. The first circle is gonna live right at the edge of this square. Um, and we're gonna get our whole arm going from our shoulder for this circle. And once we get a shape about this size, it's not very big, we're gonna set our pencil down. Now I get my whole arm going and I hover just above the paper. And when I feel like I've got the shape, I set my pencil down. I go around and around and around and it's not perfect and yours will not be perfect. Don't expect it to be. Um, these are gonna be our guides. So we're just roughing it in. Inside that, we're gonna draw a smaller circle. He's gonna be kind of looking off to the side. So I'm gonna put that smaller circle right here. For that smaller one, I'm using from my uh, forearm, my elbow down and getting my arm going. And then on the inside of that, a little highlight. So little circle there. Very good. Now go all the way over to the other side of that square, right about here, just inside from that edge. And let's draw another one, just like that. Get my whole arm going. Draw that bigger circle. And then off to the edge of that, the smaller circle. And inside that, the little circle for the highlight. Very good. Now for our face, uh, we need to build out his little nose and his um, jowls. So we're gonna do a little circle in between those eyes, just like that. That will be his nose. Inside the top of that for a little highlight, let's add in a little oval, just like that. You're doing so good. Now, we are gonna add in his jowls, and how we're gonna get those shapes. We're gonna draw some circles going down and down. Same thing on the other side, down and down. We'll end up with a little circle in the corner here to help us round off our face. So this circle, um, this one is gonna be fairly large, and it's gonna live right next to the nose. Actually, overlap your nose just a little bit, and make it be, make it go all the way to the edge of your eye, and then let's add in a little baby one right next to it. See how mine isn't perfect? Yours won't be perfect either, so just let it be. All right, on the other side, let's do that same thing. Let's draw in a circle, let it overlap and kind of meet up with this circle, just like that. Nice and loose. You're touching your pencil just ever so slightly down to your paper and then add in another one right below that. Now our little guy needs a chin. So right here where all these circles meet up, we're gonna draw another circle. And this will give us a guide for where our little chinny chin is gonna live, right there. Very good. Between this circle and our chin circle, let's just draw one little diagonal line. You're doing so good. Okay, this next part is fun. It reminds me of a toy my kids had when they were little. These little blocks that if you went like this, they would like fall down. So we're gonna do almost like a xylophone of blocks now. So from the corner, we're gonna go in just a, a, just a smidge underneath that chin, right about here. And we're gonna have a square. It's gonna come off the back of the neck right there. So this is gonna be the neck. Come off the back of the head, right there, and it's gonna be angled just like that. So how this one went this way, now we're going back the other way. Then we're gonna do the same thing and about the same size off of that. So that kinda looks like a little xylophone, like if you folded a piece of paper in half. One more back the other way. You can use the top of the shape that you already drew. 
So we just drew one, two, three. And we angled them back and forth and back and forth. Like you folded up a piece of paper off the back of that one. Let's add in the back shape there. So we just made like a cube. We had two of those lines already drawn. So we just came down from that top one and then over and connected it there. So you just drew the neck and the chest of our Boston Terrier with those shapes. Believe it or not, these things will all make sense. It looks a little funky right now. You could do a really fun uh, futuristic robotic puppy off of this drawing if you wanted to too. Okay, let's add in some legs. From the corners here, we're gonna add in a rectangle right here, nice and long, right about like that. So if you took the distance between this shape and down, this would be just a little bit longer than that. And then at the base of that rectangle, well, let's finish that rectangle first. I'm getting ahead of myself. We'll finish that rectangle. And at the base of it, we are gonna draw an oval for our foot. So good. Let's do the same thing on the other side. From this corner, we are gonna come over just a tiny bit and draw our rectangle coming down. These are his front legs. And then it's gonna come up to here. That's the part that we'll see. And at the bottom, add in an oval. Now the oval's gonna live off to the side on just the front end of that and meet up with it on that side. Does that make sense? My words are not coming easily today. On this rectangle that we just drew, let's add in a little spot where we just add in another rectangle, nice and skinny right like that. You're kind of just mimicking the line that you just drew. All right, moving on to our back legs, where this front leg meets up with our chest, we're gonna add in a little triangle right there. Now our Boston Terrier is going to be fit. <laughs> it's not gonna be like uh, my puppy dog where his little belly is all rounded. This little guy, his ribs are gonna meet up with his uh, back leg there where it's seated. seated, seated. <laughs> and we're gonna uh, let that help us to find that shape. So from that, we are gonna draw an oval that angles back just like this. We're getting our whole arm moving for this oval and we're going around and around. And then once we get that drawn, we're gonna draw a skinnier oval. It's gonna live, just it's gonna end right about there. So you can see not quite all the way up to that front leg and it's gonna end right about there. So a little skinny oval, just like that. And inside that end of that oval, let's draw a little circle. The Boston Terriers have um, these adorable little feet that look like they've been dipped in paint. Some of them, their legs are white further up. Some of them, the, the black fur comes down further, but their feet are usually white, which is pretty cute. All right, now we need a belly circle. So our belly circle is going to overlap our oval we just drew, and it's also gonna overlap this leg. It will end up just serving as a guide, so we're not really gonna see all these lines that we're drawing, but we're gonna draw that in to help us know where to shade some things. So draw in a nice little circle right there. Around and around you go. We need two ovals in a triangle, and then we are all set. So from here, let's come, start up at the face, and. Don't touch your pencil down, but drag your hand down the page following that line. And when you get right about here level with your belly circle, we're going to draw an oval right there. Now his little hind end is tucked under, and this is this little hip coming down to his foot. And at the base of that, let's draw that little circular foot right like that. All right. Now we need to connect these shapes 
and add in a connecting triangle. So if you want to take your hand all the way down those back shapes to get that shape, the back end of your triangle, you can. Or you can just kind of follow along from that body square and add in your triangle. Now you don't have to draw in the whole shape, but just to give you an idea, that triangle that I'm talking about would look like that if I drew in all the shapes. Oh, we do need one more line. From the foot, let's add in like a little smile right there, connecting it over to that leg. You have got all the shapes you need. Um, we're going to add in just a few little things that will help us know where to put our dark fur. Up at the top, on the face, let's add in a few little guides. They've got these cute little lines that come down their face and it defines where the black fur lives and where the white fur lives. So right in the middle of his little forehead, let's just draw a little diagonal line down to where the top of that circle meets. And we're gonna go along the top of that circle, along the top of that circle, and over. And then back up to the forehead, we're gonna go down the face, to the top of that circle, around the top of that circle, and top of that circle to the edge. That's going to help us know where to color in our dark fur. Um, let's do the same on the body. They've got a little bit of dark fur that lives, um, this part is all white, and they have a little bit of dark fur on their backs that sneaks around the front. So let's just give a hint of that um, with our pencil so we won't feel so intimidated. I'm just going to let it be um, an organic shape. And then I'm going to use this rectang rectangle here to help me get that shape for his body. I'm going to just follow that down a little bit. Now his little circular tummy will be pink, but above that will be all white. So I'm going to let my pencil just draw in some organic shapes for that. And then I'm going to go back up to the face and do the same thing on the other side, just following down and connect to that front leg. I see one more shape we need to add. Let's add a little connecting triangle right here. Just back and forth at the, between the head and the body, be, head and the neck, add in a little long triangle there. And now we are ready for our marker. So set down your pencil and grab your marker. Let's start at the top of the head. I'm gonna peek at my video and make sure I haven't scooched my paper too much. All right, right at the top of the head, let's start right here. We're gonna go across his little forehead and go up his ear around that little tiny circle and back down. We're just gonna do the outside edges. So across the forehead, go right up his ear over the outside of that rectangle, outside of that triangle, around the little circle, then right back down, right the triangle, under the rectangle, back to, down toward the face. You're going to stop when you get to your eye circle. Let's go around the other ear. Now this one, we're going to go up this side, around that little circle at the top, down the triangle, and then we're going to go around that little oval and around that little oval, back to the head. So go ahead and go up, and then back down. You've done all of the hard stuff. You have drawn in all the shapes that you're going to need. So now we are just tracing. So this is the fun part. You can start to see things coming together and you can start to see where these shapes help you build your drawing. Um, okay, let's do the inside of those ears so we don't forget. We'll go up to the triangle, onto that oval, and back up. Now as you get to drawing and you feel comfortable with your shapes, you may not need to sketch in everything. Maybe um, you understand that an oval with a triangle on top gives you this teardrop shape. You could start with the teardrop shape. Um, that would work beautifully. Okay, let's go to the eyes. We're going to trace around that outside circle first. Go all the way around that. Plant your wrist, let your fingers trace over the lines that you've already drawn. So good, you guys. Now let's do that inside circle. You're picking your favorite lines at this point and you're tracing around those. Go around your circle 
and then go around the little highlighted circle there and you can fill in your eye. Leave your highlight white. Very good. All right, around to the other eye, around your circle. I'm picking a fatter line on that one. See that? See how I've got my guide is a little bit on the inside. I didn't choose to trace that one. Then trace around your highlight and fill in your eye. Just like that. If at any point I'm going too fast and you're not quite there, pause me, catch up, and when you're ready, hit play and I'll be right here. All right, on to our nose. We're going to go around the top part of that circle that we drew, and then we're going to stop. See where these two circles cut into our nose shape? We're going to use those to give our nose a cute little angle, just like that. Look at that. Look what you just made. Now go around your inside oval, your little highlight, and then fill in your nose. Look, he's so cute already. Okay. Moving on to our face. Let's go ahead and draw down those little diagonal lines that we drew on the forehead and follow those around the top part of that circle, the top part of that circle, and stop. Same thing on the other side. Down and around and around and stop. Now we're going to do from the eye down and go around that bottom circle. And we're going to use that to help us get back up to our nose. So we're going to go down to the bottom circle and around. Now we are going to trace along these shapes. I'm going to start at the nose just because it feels better on my hand. But I'm going to come straight down from the nose and curve over like that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Down and around and curve over like that. Now, I'm going to use some guides here. Uh, they have this cute little dark spot on their face, from their nose down to their mouth. And you see where our circles kind of left um, some shapes there. I'm just going to use those. You do the same where your circles went in and out. Just color in just a little bit of those up to your nose. So cute. All right, now we're going to go from this little connecting line just ever so slightly around our chin and you will have drawn a Boston Terrier's face. Look what you did. So good, you guys. Um, we'll come back and color things in black, but for now we're going to keep going down the body. We are going to go around this outside edge from the neck down all the way to the foot. Ready? Here we go. Down the rectangle, connect it to that other rectangle, and down. Now for the foot, we're going to cut into the leg there and go around the foot and go back up the body into that rectangle. Now let's go draw in, rough in where that fur is going to go. We're going to go down we had that and then cut over on the leg. Very good. Let's go back up to this one, this side. Starting up by his ear, we're going to go down that triangle, ride all the way down his back to his back leg. Then we're going to go around that little hip down to his foot. And on that foot, we're going to go three quarters of the way around the foot and connect it back to his little leg. Now I'm going to draw this in, but we're going to eventually color over it. So you could skip this part, but I like to draw in where that little hip's going to be. And if you don't want to use marker to color in your puppy dog, um, go ahead and draw in that line. So we're just going to go a little bit around that oval. That's going to give him his little hip shape. Let's go on the inside here and do this leg. We're going to go all the way up we're just shy of all the way up to that corner there and go down this leg and stop at the foot. Down you go. Stop at the foot. Hop back on three quarters of the way around and then go back up and come down. So we didn't draw that whole rectangle in but we just drew a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace around that inside rectangle that I drew. So I'm going to leave that as a little highlight when I color him in. 
Let's draw this little connecting line, just like that. For his little belly, where it's going to be pink, we're going to go around this oval, just like that. And for his back leg, we're going to do that top part of that triangle that we drew. And then we're going to go down and around, just like that. And I am going to go around that little white part there, because that little back foot is going to be white. Now we just have to add in our organic shape for where his little fur is going to live. Now you may decide you want your guy to have fur that comes over a little bit. You decide that part. All right, along the chest, I'm just going to draw in where my white fur is going to be because maybe I end up coloring this with colored pencil and I want his little tummy to be pink. You did amazing. Now we are ready to color in, so you choose. I'm going to use my marker because... Um, we're not gonna erase anything just yet. So let's do the marker, let's use your marker. <laughs> like how I make this up as I go along. Oh goodness, okay, starting at the top of the ear, um, all of this will end up being black. So go ahead on your ear, fill in everything but that teardrop shape. Fill that in nice and black with your marker. If you picked a gel pen that's purple, fill it in purple. You will have a really cute little Boston Terrier that's purple. So we're going to fill that all in nice and dark. All the way over to our little face shape there. If I'm coloring faster than you, you can pause me and color and come back. I'll be here. Alright, we're going to leave that part white. Let's go over to the other side, same thing. Up on the ear, this all gets colored in black. All the way up and down. There's no wrong or right way to color this in. Um, stop there, make sure you don't go all the way over. Very good. And around this little eye, fill that part in. Now we just have these little organic shapes on his neck. That part should go fast. Um, if you like to color in little circles, color in little circles. I kind of go little sections. If you like to do nice long movements, you can do that. However you want to do it, there is no right or wrong way to do it. Now I decided my little guy is going to have black legs with little white feet. You want to leave your feet white, but it's up to you. Where do you want to have the, uh, the rest of the white? Um, sometimes their front leg is white from like here down. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that. So fill in where your little guy has his black fur on his back leg. I'm going from his chest, filling in from his hip onto his foot, just like that. And I'm going to do this other leg. If I had a fast forward, I would fast forward through this part because it's not super interesting, but we're doing something together, so that's good. Good to be together in any way we can be together today. All the way down his little tummy. Dogs have the best tummies super soft. All right, onto his little hip. I'm going to leave his little foot white there. Now, if you get some marker that goes astray, figure out a cute way to make it work for you. Um, you know, you could do some cute little dots or something like that around the edge there if, um, if you had some marker that went awry. So you decide how you want to deal with that, but don't don't let it discourage you. Just let it be part of your drawing because, you know, life happens like that. All right, I'm going to switch back. We are ready to actually go to our eraser, and I'm going to go switch back to my guide uh, that I drew in pencil, and I'm going to erase right with you. So hold your paper down so you don't crinkle it, and go ahead and erase all of your pencil lines did so good. I think you're going to be proud of what you drew. Oh, I drew a collar on my guide. I think I decided not to show you that because I couldn't figure out a good way to teach it. 
So erase all of your lines, all of your guides, and make sure to send me pictures of your drawings. I was so impressed with the hummingbirds that I got the other day. Oh my gosh, so cute. So send me what you drew. I can't wait to see it. Um, if you're looking for some other things to do today, you can find me on at Rebecca Inkabink on Instagram. And you can find me online at RebeccaInc.com. I've got some really cute downloadable coloring pages on there. I just made one from the elephant that we drew together a few weeks ago. Um, or maybe that was just last week. Uh, so look on there, uh, download a coloring page, color it in, and send it to me. I want to see what you're up to. I hope you're doing well and that you're staying positive and staying healthy. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.